Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Oreo Speedwagon. Tommy, Rachel, Hello. Badger's right here. We live in our van. We built it in what? The end of 2020? Yeah. It end was of 2020, the beginning of 2021. 2020. As we've been told, it was ruggedly utilitarian. Yes. <laughs> you know, the bed didn't fall. It was Everything held together, but it wasn't pretty. It needed some upgrading. Yeah, it did. Very much so. So, we went to Murphy's Outfitters. Thank you, Guy. Yes, thank you so much. And we did this. So okay. our van back here behind us is a 1989 Dodge B250. Don't ask me how many miles is on it. I'm just going to say all of them. It's a lot. The odometer only goes up to 99,999. So seriously have no, no clue how many miles on it. It said like 78,000 when we bought it, but it was more than that. I don't know how many times it flipped over. So long story short, I don't know. Yeah. It was horrendously ugly when we bought it. Yeah. It was a black color and it was very... Uh... How would you phrase this? Something that some some bad would happen to you in it. Yeah. Something that you'd be like, hey, I wish this wasn't happening to me. It's what it looked like. However. It looks better than what it did. It was terrible. Yeah. October 2021 is when we painted it. And it went from being the black pearl to sand van. Yeah. And sand van is what it's going to be. So we're going to start here on the outside. We got this awning off of eBay. I don't, don't ask me the brand. This thing has come in really handy quite a few times. You know, we can cook outside and all that. We do have these lights up here. And these are actually lights that go up under a truck bed, but they've worked out pretty well here. They may not seem that bright when you're out in the wilderness or like out where we are. There's nothing out here. When you turn them on at night, they, they light it up pretty They good. light it up really well. Up top, we have two of these vents. The one on the front here has a fan in it. The one on the back, no fan. I should have got it with a fan, but I didn't. We cook here, outside or inside, on our propane stove. We can obviously flip it open out here, cook outside, and it's generally what we do. If it's cold or windy or whatever, we'll definitely shut the door and cook in there. Yeah. We've done it a few times, done it on video a few times. When we first built the van, I had never seen anybody else have one like this, and we've actually had a lot of comments about people thinking it was pretty cool. See, pretty blessed to have a van that has the doors like this. If we had a you know a van with a slider door, I don't know that but it, it would, would be would. as useful. Yeah. Would it? Do you think it'd be as useful? I don't think so. I don't think so. So I think it's, the double doors work out. We love the barn good. doors. Yeah. We love the barn doors. If you watch the channel at all, you know this is new. All this up here is new. We didn't have the rack before. We didn't have the ladder, and we also didn't have a way to fill up our water from the outside. Those are pretty huge changes. Yeah. Really Very big changes. Huge. Our solar are two HQST 100 watt panels. The panels themselves have been awesome. Yeah. We generally don't have a lot of battery issues. We do sometimes. No, but it's been two years so, and they've. Yeah, no issues whatsoever. We've, they've been through hail and all kinds yeah. of stuff. So yes, we know the van's dirty right now. The outside of the van is dirty. You can look at the tires. Yeah. It's, they're dirty. This van is not a pavement princess. No, she's not. She doesn't have that luxury. We're at places like this, and let me tell you, the road into here, it's, pretty rough. Yeah. It's so in here is where the big changes have been made. Yes. I'll try to find some video and put it up of what this used to look like here, but the biggest problem we had was our potty was always out in the middle of the floor. Let's just be real. It sucked. We were somewhere, yeah. and we were talking about how it'd be nice for us to be able to shove the potty up on there and then... Having the laptop now, it'd be nice to have a place to edit. We talked about it and now it looks like this. Yeah. So here was, it was useless right here. There was always a door here. 
there was nothing behind there. I've got this now. We actually have storage here. I have a place that's all, those are all my toiletries is my camera, all my bag for all my filming and all that. And below it is our monitor. And then this is Rachel's back here. Yeah. And then down here we have our 200 amp hour Renergy AGM battery. Just this right here was a massive improvement. Very Because I'm, when I tell you that this floor was just, you couldn't move around in here mm -mm. sometimes. It, no. it was so bad. This is something that we're really enjoying. It's a great investment. Yeah, it is. And over here is another one of those areas that no, no. we've made a huge change. There was nothing here. There was just our feet. So up here we can put socks, underwear. Clothes. Clothes, just anything that we don't use all the time. Yeah. Before you could see, like it was just open to the back. Now that's all closed off. Mm -hmm. And we'll obviously be doing something with that wall. Not sure yet. This area here was something that we really couldn't use, especially if we were moving. We had these shelves, but we didn't have any way to hold stuff in. And then down here, this is netting that has bungee cord through the top of it. So this is where we put our toilet paper or just, you know, it's, it stretches out pretty good. Yeah, so I'm really not, not hating stuff. this at yeah. all. We used to have our water right here. It was just gravity fed and it worked and it was, we, we were actually fine with it. We were, we, we were happy with we it. We were. We got to we Murphy's, Murphy's and he said, hey, I have some stuff if you want it. So we asked what, and he gave us under here, let me lift that up. We have a 20 gallon water tank under here. And then back in behind there is a 12 volt pump and a switch right here. So now here we have sprayable water. Water. Just this is awesome. Yeah, it is very much. There used to be no storage here. It was just the top of the cabinet. Mm -hmm. And now we have actual storage up here. We used to have a full cabinet across here. We had two long drawers and two shorter drawers. Mm -hmm. And when we started putting them back together, we didn't realize that the drawer facings were not as tall as they were on the bottom. These are actually the two drawers that were on top. So mm -hmm. we, so anyway, we had to figure out a way to kind of fill these Area. gaps right here. Yeah. And then right here, we're going to have to find a very specific tub or tote or whatever that'll fit in yeah, there. But for right now, it's just a catch all. But Guy from Murphy's Outfitters, here's his logo right there. He made us this bed skirt so you can't see up under there all the time. Now for the party piece of this thing. On-demand water heater, propane powered on-demand water heater. Soaps, shower head. This girl's fixing to take a shower. There's a water heater that's hooked up. We did put this flashing right here because the heat, it gets pretty warm. And this flashing will help the, most of the heat come out. Kind of got to help each other. As soon as she's ready to go, I'll put the pump on. Here's the switch. Pump right here, maybe you can hear it. And the spray. Anyway, I'm going to help her. I'm gonna give y'all a glimpse of how this works and how freaking cool it is and what a oh lord I already took mine <laughs> showers anywhere are you ready yeah all right let's go turn on the water <laughs> yeah. this is so awesome good deal what's cool is all we gotta do is turn the pump on and then whenever you whenever you hit the switch on the nozzle, the water heater just lights by itself. It has batteries in it and it just self-ignites. How warm is the water, Rachel? It's good. It's good? Yeah. You mean adjust it or are you okay? No. Perfect. Good deal. God, this is so cool. It's telling her with this now, if we had Starlink, we could go up in the mountains in the summertime and stay up, you know, just load up on groceries. And we could actually be out there for weeks. Because we'd be able to shower. With that. We'd had ways to upload videos. I say game changer a lot, but this is a game changer. Anyway, y'all see now that it works. That's all you get to see. I may poke my head inside. Who knows? I wouldn't be shocked if I did. Can't think of anything else. I haven't shown you. I don't know. Make sure my mic's on here. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> it's quite the upgrade. It's so much better than it, it was. I think I've put in some video of Rachel showering. Man, thank you all so much for watching Oreo Speedwagon. We have a lot more stuff coming, a lot yeah. more adventures. Ad you say adventures or just videos of us doing stuff. Yep. I don't think they're like we're going to be storming a castle or no, saving a princess from a. <laughs> we're probably not going to be saving anybody tied up from off the railroad tracks. Well, I hope Maybe. Not. There's a probably be piano music playing in the background. <laughs> we will talk to y'all next time.
Bye. Bye.